Hello everyone, this is the Poly Innovator channel. I am Dustin. I aim to be a Poly Innovator, which is a global innovation polymath. Today we're going to talk about how to organize your DIY degree, how to pursue it every day, and what challenges you may face the process of pushing yourself. I would like for you guys to be able to know why we need to, what, why do we need to organize it, what tricks you can do to follow it daily, and how to set systems. What is having grit, and all of the above. I wanted to mention too that throughout this entire experience, having that grit to push yourself forward is something that a lot of people end up failing at. But that's also where people often shine the most once they get used to it. So first and foremost, I wanted to share a story with you of a situation where I had my own grit. All throughout my years of exercise, self-development includes a lot of different areas, the mind, the body, the spirit, and emotions, as I call the four pillars philosophy. But in this particular case, I'll be talking about the body pillar, the exercise and physical regimen. I had basically two areas of preference. I had calisthenics and dumbbells. For years, that's the main things I ever did, but I'd always expand upon it in new ways, new dynamic movements. But one of the best things was push-ups. And I would always be able to do a decent amount. Growing up, I would aim for like 100 because that was always a 100-a-day, 30-day challenge. Uh, and I would do that a bit, but I would focus more on doing different kinds of push-ups and challenging myself that way. But I ended up getting to around 200 at one point. I was like, you know what? I wonder if I could do 300. And I had tried for about a year and a half multiple times to get 300. The max I had ever gotten was 263. And around... 220, 230, I started basically breaking down, not being able to do much. And so I had to basically take a few reps at a time, take a few minutes as a break, and continue to process until I couldn't do any more. I did that and got to around 263. After that, my attempts towards the grand goal would space out over time. So I ended up doing 240 one day and then down to 200 again because I wasn't doing enough. I guess I was doing more pull ups around that time. And, um, so my focus wasn't there. But there was one day I had a whole bunch of pasta and some ca coffee, a whole bunch of both, and I wanted to prepare myself energy-wise to exert. I managed to get to 220, 240, and I would just do sets of 20 the entire time. And I was sitting there pushing myself the whole time, take a few seconds, 10 seconds, maybe a minute, depending on how tired I was, and continue doing 20. I'd always did 20. And I still couldn't make it. I ran out of time, actually, because I had to teach in the pool. After that, I think it was actually uh, a week later, I had done leg day the day prior. So I was already sore. But I decided I'm going to sit here and do it all now. In this case, I put myself in the right mindset. And I got to around 240. My arms were numb. At that point, I had already fallen my face three times. And I had pushed myself to my max. But I had around 15 minutes left before I had to go teach again. And I told myself, no, you're going to do this. You're not leaving until you do it, even if you're late for the lesson, which is something I never do. I managed to crank out the last 60 as if I had just started over again. I believe that I had activated either the flow state or, and or the fight or flight response. Because I think the adrenaline kicked in. That's why I was able to crank them out so well. In that, I felt so proud and amazing at the amount of drive and intense focus I was able to put into it. This has to do mainly with the flow, I believe. I wanted to get stronger. When I was younger, I had a very limp, thin frame and with a little food belly and everything. It wasn't really that great. I told myself I was going to be strong. And so I ask you, why do you do what you do? Because what I do, I do everything, including my own self-development, including all the uh, side hustle, all the jobs I work, towards my goal. The Poly Innovator brand, as its why, is to help other people pursue their own DIY degree. That's what my brand I made is goal. That is why I want to help others so that people can also follow my suit and be able to kind of emulate what I'm doing in their own way and ma manufacture it and manipulate it for what they need. And so... Back to that story, how does flow work? Flow works by <clears throat> staying in the range of your body. Maybe I'll try to put up a picture at this point when I'm editing. If not, I'll just try to explain it well. <clears throat> there is a difference between putting so much pressure way up here that you get anxiety over it. 
and having so little pressure that you are complacent. And the way to get into flow is by going right in the middle, right through, and getting to enough skill level, a high skill ceiling, as well as a high challenge. So for example, I had been doing push-ups for so long that I was able to push myself into the state of flow because I could do it. I know I had good form. I know I have been able to do quite a bit before, so I know I have the skill set. But the challenge was great. It was a physical challenge having to get my muscles to do that much. And since then, I've only gotten to around 240, 260 again to really kind of even get close to it. But I haven't had the true desire, once again, to get that at 300. I wanted to move on to another goal. Now, I did talk about in some blog posts and even, I think, a video the other day talking about how goals aren't always the best thing you want to set. They are basically like a hamster wheel. You're running around, you get done, you start over again, right, in the hamster wheel. And so that's what happened with me. I got out of that goal for the push-ups and found a new one. Now, in the case of self-development, it's not so bad, mainly because I had already set up a system of exercise. When I go to the gym, I generally don't have a set goal in mind. But what I do think about on the way to the gym is what I need to be doing in order to achieve all that I want to achieve within this week, let alone month. And so... I don't know how I was managing. I think it's just over time I managed to do it. So I can't necessarily explain how I did this particular system. Because what happens is I go in there. I know what I need to do. I know what variables I need to change. So what I will give you is the three variables to exercise. Firstly, you can change the intensity. You can change how hard you work, how fast you move. You can change the volume. So the amount of reps and or time, depending on what exercise you're doing, and the overall um, speed. So speed is a little bit different in intensity because intensity would often often include uh, weight. And so you can change the weight, the speed, and the overall time aspect behind each exercise. You don't want to do more than one at one point. You often will get hurt. I managed to actually hurt my rotator cuff by going too heavy, too quick, all the way up. How this education of the platform will change the way our lives and will shift the way we live. That is why I have written down. What I mean by that is I wanted to create a platform of change throughout my life. That's always been kind of my overarching goal. I've always felt that people are the greatest concern in the world. The, uh, I remember Jim Jeffries, I believe it was, was talking about how the earth doesn't care about us. After one year, New York City without any humans will already be covered in vines. Once the humans are gone, earth will just go right back to doing what it was doing. We need to start caring about ourselves and about the, around the social connection throughout the world. That is what causes a lot of progress and change. This is why I have my grit, because I know that's where I want to aim towards. That's what I want my life and legacy to be towards. That is where I get my grit from. That's where I'm, when I'm feeling down, I think about that, and it motivates me to keep going forward. So this is why I was bringing up the platform. I wanted to create a platform of change. And that's my goal in mind, my in situ macro, I guess you could say, the end goal, the head in the clouds kind of situation. I think that could shift the way we live our lives. And throughout this process, I knew I needed to pursue my own education in order to get smart enough to do that goal. I created a DIY degree and a DIY degree, not the DIY degree. I believe it would just be so insane. If I told people back in 2007, 2008 that I did this, it would almost be insane. And let alone right now, people still might think I'm crazy for doing it, not pursuing a traditional college education. But in the future, I'll be labeled ahead of my time. I know that for a fact. One thing I can say as well is that you, if you have access to the internet, you have the key to the world. Now, I don't mean you can rule the world in that sense, but I guess you could. Together, we can work on this, creating your education to help towards your goals, and perhaps your goals will align with mine, and we can perform any acts of compassion and kindness, allowing us to create a platform of change after pursuing our own self-made education. Each one of you who supports this channel, wh whether it's just a like on the page or on Patreon helping me build something great for you. I appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Can you tell me how you've pushed yourself recently? 
on pursuing grit. That'd be great. And for about how to set up systems, I'll try to make a video separately on that. Thank <laughs> you.